Hey, this is Benny Johnson back for another Hackintosh tutorial and in this episode I'm going to cover Hackintosh friendly motherboards and in the last couple of tutorials I spoke about CPUs and GPUs that are compatible with um, OSX. In this tutorial I'm going to put a cap on the hardware supported series and next couple of episodes I'm going to go through actually getting started installing OSX on a PC. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to mention when it comes to motherboards is laptops and pre-built computers aren't very OSX friendly and this is basically because the manufacturers like HP and Toshiba use custom built parts and one of these custom built parts are the motherboards and these motherboards have little to no support for OSX which means it makes them really hard to get it actually running well on those systems. Don't get me wrong, there are some laptops and there are many pre-built computers that actually run OS X well, but it's pretty rare. Um, so if you're trying to get it running on a laptop, you're not going to have very much luck unless your laptop is one of those models that do actually support OS X, which is quite rare. But if you're trying to install it on a pre-built computer from HP or something, you might have more luck than you would with a laptop. But again, your best option is to actually get a custom built PC just with the case and you've bought all the custom components and put it together yourself. This will minimize the risk of any custom built components from um, the manufacturers. So in terms of brands, the best brands are the ASUS and Gigabyte when it comes to motherboards that work well with OS X. So Gigabyte works with the default CPU power management which is a great plus and because of this it has best community support because of this support there's a large amount of DSDTs available for these motherboards and I won't go into the specifics of what a DSDT is but basically it allows your system to run OS X better um, and some of the newest boards actually have UEFI support which is what max boot up which means that you don't have to emulate them as as you did with the BIOS which means that you don't need a DSDT um, for those motherboards which is really great saves a lot of hassle so if you got an ASUS don't get discouraged because ASUS is the second most supported and there's still many resources on it it's just not as supported as Gigabyte boards but Again, I've got an ASUS board which works pretty well with OS X, I use it every day so I'm pretty happy with my setup and I bought that years and years ago so it's still working well with OS X so don't get discouraged if you've got an ASUS motherboard so you don't need to go out and buy a new one. So in conclusion, make sure your motherboard is designed for Intel, as I said before, AMD is a no-go when it comes to installing OS X on a PC. For your best chance, uh, make sure it's manufactured from 2010, any up to now, which any earlier will make it a little bit of a struggle, and I know my motherboard's older than that, but again, I can still run it pretty well, but it was a little bit of struggle to get working. Now, again, Gigabyte is the best supported, so if you're looking to buy one, I'd recommend that you get the... Z77 series of the new Gigabyte motherboards which actually have that UEFI support and I bought one of these motherboards and they work great with OS X so if you're looking to buy go buy those series. Alright that's it see you guys